Okay, so what we've done so far with the arithmetic sequence is we've said that the identifier is that it has a constant first difference. We've also th said that you can get the general formula using the a plus n minus 1 times d. That's the formula. That's the formula. Okay? And then we've said that that t3 minus t2 equal to t2 minus t1 can be helpful in some cases. Okay. Good. So that is what we're now going to do. Now we're going to do a sum fun formula. Too. We're going to start doing a sum of formula. And it's important that you distinguish between... Let me write them down. I'll tell you now. What's going on with sigma? This is the line of sigma, but it is not me sigma. But sigma is the same. So, what now? Okay. Write that down and I'll answer all of your questions. Now, now we are going to say that we are going to Okay, the easiest way to explain this is with an example, but let's just quickly state that it is very important that you understand that there is a difference between this Mikey and this Mikey. We are more often than not going to use this one, but anyway. There's a difference between TN and SN. TN gives you the algemene term. So as you will know what the term is 100 in the getal patroon, then you use the TN. SN gives you the sum of all the terms to the two terms. So as you will know what is the sum of the first 100 terms, then you use the sum of 100. Okay? So let's do it. No, no, it's okay. Let's do this with an example. So. And I'm going to do it manually and with the formula so that you guys believe me. No, it's too late for me. Let's let your stuff. <laughs> Okay. Een van die meest onintimiderende getalpatroone wat jylle al gesien het. Stem jylle so? Nothing intimidating about that. Okay, goed. Krijg al vir my die algemene term van die getalpatroon. Get the general term of that sequence. Okay. Yeah, in whichever way you do it, whether you do it with a shortcut or with the a plus n minus 1 plus, um, times d. Mark like that. Yeah? Okay. Now come on, Svart, I'm going to go a bit and I say for you, Krijg my term 5, stem jylle sal ons weer die antwoord is 9. We know that the answer is 9, but let's use our formula to get to that. Okay, so we're going to say 2 times 5 minus 1 is 9. And as jylle gaan kyk na die getalpatroon, can confirm it is 9. Okay, maar wat ons nou doen is, ek wil net vir jylle wees, as het werk met term 5, dan gaan het werk met term 98. And instead of expanding all the way to there, you can use your formula. Okay, so that we have been doing that for, this is not an issue. No, I'm going to write it down. Now, the sum of the first five terms is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, which if you're very good at maths, you'll see is 25.
okay? Because we're only working with five terms, it's easy to just, I almost want to say, manually add them together, okay? Now let's use the formula. The sum of the first five terms is equal to, what does N stand for? I'm just copying it again. Okay, so 5 over 2. 2, what does the A stand for? First term. So, in ieder geval gaan het weer 1, ne? Plus, N is mos hier veel like terme, so 1, 8, 5 minus 1 is 4. Do you guys agree? And then the constant difference, what is the constant verschil? Ja, man. 2. Tik goed hoi en op jou saak reken hoor. Anybody do it? But remember, if we're working with 90 toads, this is the short way. Yeah. Ne? Okay. Now let's go for another the Annie and advice. This must be Annie and I'm going to What does A stand for? Yes, you tell him. L stands for last term. Okay. So, as you read what the last term is, and now we have to stop us now here. Okay? Then can you say 5 of 2, the first term is 1, the last term is 9. Type that into your calculator. Okay. So, you can use either one of those. My here in a Ga nie altyd beskikbaar wees nie, want jy gaan nie altyd weet wat is die laaste term. The other one you can always use. Is dit so bad die? The thing that sometimes confuses you is the TN and the SN. And knowing when to use which one. So a TN is jy, as jy getal soek in die getal patroon. SN is as jy vir jou sê, bepaal die som van die eerste 50 term. Determine the sum of. One example, I promise. You guys were begging for homework a few seconds ago. Kijk, mooi graad 12, ek skryf nie meer komma punte tussen hulle nie, ek skryf nou plusse. Ok? That's the difference between a series and a sequence. Dis die verskil tussen een rij en een reeks, wat julle op al heel eerste bladse van julle slides gedoen het. Ok, and if I say determine the sum of that sequence, so ek vraag vir jou bepaal net my die som van dit. Oh, nee. Okay, now we don't have N. Do you agree? So we can use TN to find N. So I can say TN is like on similar song? Okay, and I'm going to spell it in. Dan het woorde, daai is term 53. Ok, nou in plaas daarvan om al 53 termen te gaan uitskryf en hulle by mekaar te tel, 
Tanik Nai Si. All right. Kijk mooi wat ik bij in en gestel. Bij in heb ik 53 en gestel. Voor AI substituted 4 en voor DI substituted 7. Of je kon het gedoen het met die DNA. That's the first and last term. You get to the same answer. So, I see two formulas that I have right here. Okay.